Hello everyone, my name is Hadi Amirpur from University of Klagenfurt and I will be presenting our paper PSCR or Pertitle Encoding Using Spatiotemporal Resolutions co-authored by Christian Timmerer and Mohamed Ghambari. I will give a brief introduction and then I will explain about Pertitle Encoding and High Frame Rate videos and then PSTR is introduced, followed by experimental results, and finally, I will conclude this presentation. In HTTP adaptive streaming, or has, a video source is split into different segments, and each segment is encoded at multiple bit rates or qualities. And then, based on the available bandwidths, the most appropriate representation is selected and is sent to the client to be displayed. In this case, compatibility with network condition is increased. As previously mentioned, in order to increase compatibility with network condition, a video segment is encoded at multiple bit rates, and each bitrate might be encoded at a different spatial resolution, and all of these representations, referred to a bitrate ladder, are stored in HTTP server. For higher bitrates, usually higher resolutions are selected, while for uh, lower bitrates, usually lower resolutions are selected. Content providers usually use a fixed bitrate ladder, that is a fixed set of bitrates, and spatial resolutions for all video content. But video segments are ranging from easy to encode to hard to encode videos and show different quality bitrate behaviors. In order to optimize bitrate ladders or different video contents, per title encoding was introduced. As an example, we encode two videos at two spatial resolutions, 540p and 1080p. We see that in the given bitrate range for the first video, 540p outperforms 1080p. While for the second video, there is a crossover point around one megabit per second where before that 540p outperforms 1080p, but after that, it is 1080p that outperforms 540p. This shows that bitrate ladders can be optimized for different video segments. Per title encoding is based on the fact that in a given bitrate range, each spatial resolution performs better than others in a specific region, and these regions are dependent on the video content. So bitrate ladders are optimized over bitrate and spatial resolution. In per-title encoding, each video segment is encoded at multiple resolutions and bitrates, and all of these resolutions are upscaled to that of the original video. And then scaled objective metrics are calculated and a convex hull is formed based on these objective metrics and then appropriate representations are selected from this convex hull. As we mentioned, bitrate ladders are usually optimized over spatial resolution and bitrate. But we know that by increasing temporal resolution or frame rate, visual clarity is enhanced and temporal artifacts such as flickering, stuttering, and motion blur are reduced. On the other hand, we know that higher frame rate videos require higher bit rates. So a trade-off between frame rate and compression efficiency is established. To show the impact of frame rate on encoding efficiency, we encode two videos at two different frame rates, 60 and 120 frames per second. We see that for the first video, there is a crossover point at lower bit rates while for the second video, this crossover point happens at higher bit rates. This shows that as same as spatial resolution, the impact of frame rate on compression efficiency depend on the video content. So in our proposed method PSTR, we consider the video quality as a function of three parameters, bit rate, spatial resolution, and temporal resolution or frame rate. In PSTR, 
We spatially and temporally downscale original video to form a set of representations and then we encode all of these representation at multiple bit rates in order to form the convex up. We show that how the scaled objective metrics are calculated for spatially or temporally downscale videos. Let's assume our video is 1080p and 60 frames per second, and we first spatially downscale it to 540p, and then we temporally downscale it to 30 frames per second. So our representation would be 540p and 30 frames per second, which we encoded, and after decoding, we temporally and spatially upscale it to get the same the specification of the original video, and then we can easily calculate our objective metrics. Please note that we simply use duplicating frames for temporal upscaling and bicubic for spatial upscaling, but these methods can be replaced by more sophisticated upscaling methods in order to enhance the encoding efficiency. We see encoding efficiency for all representations with different spatial or temporal resolutions used in this paper using both PSNR and VMAF as objective metrics. Based on this encoding efficiency, we form convex hulls. And for example, for the VMAF as the objective metric, we can see that uh, for lower betrays, it is usually the lower frame rate that is used to form the convex hull, while for the higher bitrates, it is usually the higher frame rate that is selected to form the convex hull. We can easily see here the impact of frame rate on the encoding efficiency and on the convex hull. In this table, we summarize bitrate saving against the bitrate ladder with fixed spatial and temporal resolutions that is 1080p and 120 frame per second. We can see that by optimizing this bitrate ladder over spatial resolution, we can get around 60% bitrate saving. But optimizing over both spatial resolutions and temporal resolution, we can double this bitrate saving. We can see that there is a high correlation between spatial information or SI and temporal information or TI with bitrate savings. As PSCR investigates the impact of frame rate on the bitrate saving or bitrate ladder, we can see that with the increasing TI values, the bitrate saving is reduced. For example, for a video with a high TI information, we can see that the frame rate doesn't have any impact on the bitrate saving. But for a video with a low TI value, we can see that it has a huge impact on the bitrate saving. As a conclusion, this paper derives an improved bitrate ladder for each content or title using both spatial and temporal resolutions. State-of-the-art methods usually optimize bitrate ladders over only the spatial resolutions, uh, but uh, we add frame rate for a bitrate ladder optimization. Experimental results show that the proposed method significantly improves the performance of bitrate ladder uh, by uh, considering the temporal and spatial resolutions. The temporal resolution shows a similar impact on the bitrate saving as the spatial resolution. This is more significant for video segments with lower TI values. In general, our findings uh, shows that at lower bitrates, using lower spatial and temporal resolutions, and at higher bitrates, using higher spatial and temporal information yield the best performance. We note that we expect a significant increase of time complexity by using both spatial and temporal information for per title encoding. Uh, as uh, we add and we increase the number of representations that should be encoded to, to form the convex hull. But we would like to, to decrease this time complexity by using uh, machine learning to predict the convex hull without any need to encode all of these representations. 
At the end, I would like to thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me.